Hello, and welcome to another session of For Sanity's Sake, an art making circle for moms and caregivers. I'm Bo, your resident artist mom and caregiver. And um, we're here just to make some art together because we want to and we deserve it. So let's get to it. Um, <laughs> God, it's only like 1 p.m. and I feel like I've had the busiest day. I sat down, opened mail, paid bills, like just got lots of stuff done and it felt incredible. And I don't have very much time, the baby's napping presently. Uh, so I thought I would do a really quick video um, and only give myself like seven minutes to do something. So if you're running low on time, this might be a good one for you. So today, um, I thought that we could, just for the sake of simplicity, write down a word and then decorate that. And the word that we're gonna draw and decorate today, maybe we can say it together. One, two, three, no. That's the word that we're gonna draw together. Let that sink in, we'll talk more about it. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready to set my timer, but first, as always, let's take a moment to just kind of breathe and be grateful. And if we're spreading gratitude around, let's start with ourselves. You can say, thank you, me, for taking this time. You can even say it out loud if you want. I feel like we're gonna do a lot of talking out loud today. Let's get started. Um, no. How easy is that for you to say? Um, FYI, I'm just gonna use a bunch of pens. I have some colored pencils around, which I haven't had very much success doodling with recently, so I'm a little gun shy on bringing those in, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, no. How does that feel coming coming out of your mouth and you know what I'm gonna set my timer and I'm not even gonna waste time I'm just gonna get started I'm just gonna write it down and then we'll draw around it period no is a full sentence in case you didn't know that So I'm curious, how does it feel to say the word no out loud? Does it roll off your tongue? Is this a word that you're used to saying a lot? Do you feel good when you say no? Do you feel uncomfortable when you say no? What are you saying no to? Who are you saying no to? There are definitely instances where I'm more comfortable saying no if it has to do with, I don't know, pleasure or relaxation or something that's like, seems interesting, but there's a little bit of fear there. I would probably do an accompanying video on yes, but We'll just stick to the word of the day today, no. I'm curious what your relationship with the word is. I think I think I'm more comfortable saying no than I actually am. But I definitely, especially since having a kid, have gotten much more used to it. It rolls off the tongue in a totally different way. Because honestly, I have so much less capacity and I have so much less time and I value my time so differently. Like when I'm with my kid and we're playing and we're just like cooking and like doing stuff in the house, like I lose my phone, I turn on music, like it's literally a different universe 
and then once he's gone or he's busy or he's with his, his dad, like my brain turns back on and it's like, go, 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 go. But I've learned how to like use the kid as an excuse to be like, no, that doesn't really fit with the vibe today, this week, this month, this year. <laughs> We're just not doing that. I am not doing that. And I had to give myself a little bit of permission, honestly, to say it. And I'm glad that I have. It was a muscle that needed to get exercised and she is strong. So besides the fact that these shapes are kind of my default, um, I think what I'm drawing is kind of shaping up now that I'm thinking about it and looking at it is like a no floating through the ocean a little bit, like through the seaweed. And it's like a very serene, no, there is a period here. And I do mean it, the period is, is real, it is to be respected, but it's not aggressive. And there's nothing wrong with being aggressive, by the way. It's not an aggressive no, it's just sort of a state of fact. There is a no here. And more commonly than I'd like, I have to deal with the outcomes of the next step beyond the no. But really, generally speaking, those aren't my problem. It is my responsibility to say no. Usually it is someone else's responsibility to learn how to handle it. So that's the no that I'm making today. I'd love to see what your no's look like. You can share them with me on social. I'm at uh, S-A-H-M creative on Insta. And I'd love to hear your, your relationship with the word no. Do you think about the fallout of your no's? Who cleans up after your no's? Do you care? No judgment. I am like fully in support of particularly caregivers, volunteer caregivers, even more so than others. And that includes mothers, parents of all stripes, like respecting their time and their space and their energy. And one way that we let people know that we respect those things for ourselves is by saying this word to them. And honestly, some people just need to hear it. Even if they don't know that they need to hear it, they do. So I'd love to know more about your nose. And I'd love to know the next thing that you're gonna say no to. And I know you have one. Everybody has one. There are all of there are honestly all of these no's floating through the air at any one time, like invisible bacteria. All we need is a microscope, and time is that microscope. And we're here, we got time, we're drawing. I actually don't have time. I have 30 seconds left in my timer. Goodness gracious, that passed quickly. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up, but yeah, what are you gonna say no to next? I need to really think about that. And it doesn't have to be one thing, right? It could be plenty of things, but what's, what's brewing in there that you feel coming up or that you've already said no to and you gotta say it again? or you really wanna say yes to, but you just can't, or you said yes to already, and now you change your mind. If you need permission, consider this your permission. Whatever you do, we're gonna name it and we're gonna sign it. And if you need to, let's put it somewhere real visible so you can 
remember it and think about it. What are you gonna say no to next? And maybe it's not a no, right? Maybe it's just a not right now. Maybe it's just a yes, but only under these conditions. And if you can't meet these conditions, then no. Maybe it's a maybe. While you work your way up to a no. Just like our, your no's don't have to be perfect. But it'd be nice if they were considered. All right. I told myself this would be quick. I'm gonna stick by that commitment. I'm gonna say no to drawing more despite a keen interest in the direction that this is headed in. Thank you so much for doodling with me today. If you haven't said it out loud yet, let's do it together now. Three, two, one, no. I am the S-A-H-M creative and I am so grateful that you took time out of your day to be with me. I am so grateful that you took time out of your day to be with yourself. And I'm so grateful for you thinking about what you need and what you want, and just as importantly, what you do not want. We're gonna title this like we do all of our little creations here, and I don't know how to spell algae, so we're just gonna call this Algae. That's me saying no to policing language and spelling rules. I get to do whatever I want. That's the beauty of me living my life. Another theme related to today's word. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. And if there's another word that's burning inside of you that you're dying to write down or you're dying to say out loud, do it, right? Like there are no rules. Thank you so much for joining me and I really, really look forward to learning more about you and talking with you again soon. Bye-bye.